Anything between this line and the fence needs to be cleared for border wall construction, including this saguaro, which was deemed unsavable. Within the Orkin Pipe National Monument, construction is underway on a section of the border wall. After videos on social media showed a cactus being bulldozed on the protected land. Since October 4th, over 100 cacti have been moved from their original location. And these stake markers show which cactuses have been relocated. Some people believe this construction is destroying the environment, killing the species the National Monument was designated to protect. I want to dispel any rumors that the, this project is in any way, shape or form damaging the environment. We want to have as minimal impact as possible. And through these different type of contractors that we have out here who specialize in cactus replanting and, and rehoming. An arborist identifies which saguaros are salvageable and can be removed. Then these cacti are relocated to a location deemed appropriate by the National Park Service. Border Patrol stresses that construction impacts are intended to be as minimal as possible. It's important to us because we're part of this community. We live here, we work here, and we're ensuring that whatever happens in this area, uh, we're able to minimize how we impact the environment, whether it's keeping off a road, whether it's moving cacti to a safe location so we're not impacting it. That means a lot to us. This is our home. Border Patrol says this will also make law enforcement operations easier. The wider the border road is, actually the easier it is for agents to, to detect uh, an, an illegal entry in that area. A lot of what we do in this area uh, has to do with looking out the window and identifying footprints in, in the sand. So the wider the road is, the easier Border Patrol agents can do that. This section of the border wall will be nearly 30 feet and span nearly 50 miles. Expected completion of this project is in August 2020. From Lukeville, Stephanie Weaver, News 4 Tucson.